after understanding the cop douglas and constant velocity of substitution that is ces production function now we will learn about another production function which is known as the ves production function before we get started i encourage you to subscribe to this channel so that this channel grows and you and other people benefit from such new topics that are not usually found on youtube so let us get started with this ves production function it was basically contributed by uh, a number of people out of which Ferguson and Volkowitz, they are there as well as Rivanker uh, in 1971. He contributed to the development of this production function. This is the standard form. It appears basically in more than one standard forms, but this is one of them which is uh, chosen in this uh, presentation. Uh, now the sigma that is the elastic substitution will be uh, of VES that is variable elastic substitution because capital and labor both of the variables will be involved in the formula of the elasticity of substitution that is sigma whereas in the constant elasticity substitution only the parameter rho was involved in the process there was no variable that is there was no capital or labor in it so therefore we call it variable elasticity of substitution production function when we look at this parameter it is the efficiency parameter which may be determined by the state of technology how it changes and how it affects the production function. If it is equal to 1, there will be technological constancy, that is the technology will be the same and the capital and labor will be uh, giving rise to the output, whereas the technological role will be neutral. But if it is greater than 1, then there will be technological upgradation and same labor and capital will be able to produce more than before. And if A is less than 1, then there will be technological downgradation that is same capital and labor will not be able to produce the same amount of output. Then we have variable uh, returns to scale which is variable when this value that is V is greater than 1. When this is less than 1 there is again variable returns to scale but decreasing returns to scale. But when it is equal to 1 there will be constant returns to scale. And just a reminder that if V is greater than 1 it is variable returns to scale but increasing returns to scale in particular. So this is quite similar to what we have seen in uh, complexness and CES production functions. And we have the determinant of capital share here. It is represented by A and here you can see A is representing the share of capital and we also have the share of labor and that is represented by small b which is here. So now we are familiar with all of the parameters which are used in the VES production function. The first treatment that we would like to do would be the uh, returns to scale of VES production function. We know about the definition of it. It is basically the ratio of the proportionate changes in outputs and inputs. And here we can test this simply by introducing lambda as a scalar, which will be attempted to factor out so that if it gets factored out, we can call it a homogeneous production function. Writing the standard form of the VES production function and introducing the lambda in it, we will get this form. You can see wherever there was lambda L and K, now we have lambda with it because uh, now we are introducing lambda with both of the variables. Now the simplification process will take place. You can see that lambda is separated now with the same part that is AE. And capital is also there, which is also a part of this overall term. Now, this uh, introduction of lambda will be uh, common in both of these terms before and after this plus sign. So, we take lambda as a common factor. The whole power will be retained on it, that is 1 minus a into v. And in the next step, we will see that how we can spread the whole power of uh, lambda. Here you can see the whole power is now spread on this lambda, whereas the remaining terms, they are the same. When we have done this step, now we can envisage that a few terms when combined together will give rise to the original production function and they are this a and this value that is k is to the power a b and this term. So we have combined these three terms and we have put an over bar on it just to show that this is equal to the actual production function. Whereas this term and that term, they are left after all of this uh, process. So we have written them together. Now it is very easy to solve them because the bases are the same. And we will simplify this. We will get lambda raised to the power v. 
and the uh, original production function is beside it. So now this uh, V represents the degree of homogeneity, the power of lambda, and it is completely factored out, so it shows that we have a homogeneous production function. Consequently, uh, VES now is a homogeneous production function in terms of capital and labor because these are the two variables where we introduce the scalar that is lambda. And uh, the power can be uh, any value equal to 1 or greater than 1 or less than 1. Um, greater than 1 would imply IRS, less than 1 would mean DRS and equal to 1 will imply that it is CRS, that is constant returns to scale. So VES production function is homogeneous and it has the possibility of all the three cases that is increasing returns to scale, decreasing returns to scale and constant returns to scale. So this is the introduction to a rarely discussed production function which is variable elasticity of substitution production function. I hope you have enjoyed the video. So you may give it thumbs up and don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you.